Welcome to this uh, lecture 21 in the module on pollution and quality analysis of groundwater. And uh, so, in this we will uh, discuss with the meaning of pollution first and this pollution it is the the artificial deterioration in the natural groundwater quality. So, obviously, in this we are focusing on the uh, deterioration or decline which has come in the natural in the quality of natural groundwater by artificial means. And here we should make a distinction between pollution and uh, contamination. So, here this contamination is a pollution which is hazardous to human health. So, contamination is also a type of pollution only and here, so it causes the uh, hazard or a danger, it, pro it uh, uh, so provides a danger, it poses a danger to the human health. Whereas, pollution it may or may not uh, pose a danger to the human health. So, once it poses a danger to the human health, then it is known as contamination. And uh, there are uh, various sources of uh, pollution of uh, ground water. So, here let us briefly discuss the that is the types of uh, ground water pollution. So, this uh, so this ground water pollution. So, it can be classified into various uh, categories based on various criteria like uh, say the classification based on uh, sources. Based on the sources of pollution of ground water So, we can classify into this is a ground water pollution due to municipal sources and then followed by the ground water pollution due to industrial sources. Then the next category of ground water pollution is the ground water pollution due to agricultural sources and then lastly the ground water pollution due to miscellaneous and uh, other sources. And uh, based on the geometry, so this uh, groundwater pollution can be classified into that is uh, pollution. 
point sources of uh, ground water pollution and uh, this is the next category is the area sources of ground water pollution and uh, of course, here yeah, this is a line sources of this ground water pollution. So, these uh, area as well as line sources of ground water pollution. So, they are also known as non point sources of uh, ground water pollution. So, G w is the abbreviation for ground water. So, this is ground water pollution or they are also known as distributed. or diffused or uh, distributed sources of ground water pollution. And uh, here and again, so this point sources of pollution we can further group this into further categorize this into ground water pollution due to L Naples, of course, I will give you the definition, the expansion of this uh, just uh, a minute later. Next is ground water pollution due to D Naples and uh, lastly the ground water pollution due to inorganics and others. So, all this is part of the all this comes under points as source of pollution. So, here this L Naple so this L Naple is the light non aqueous phase liquid similarly D Naple is uh, dense non aqueous phase liquid. So, here this L Naple we can give the example of uh, say it is uh, petroleum products and this uh, it is crude oil etcetera and D Naple. So, this is uh, the example we can give is the dry cleaning pollutants 
comma automobile pollutants like the engine oil etcetera. The aviation pollutants, the pollutants which are used in the aviation sector, and then the electric circuit board pollutants. So, all these are uh, heavier than water. So, therefore, they are uh, included in this uh, dense non aqueous uh, phase liquid phase liquids, whereas this petroleum products. So, that is this crude oil etcetera. like petrol, diesel, kerosene and all these. So, they are lighter than water. So, therefore, they are included in this uh, uh, light non aqueous phase liquid or say uh, L napple. And here and uh, since they are light, so they will be in the they will be spread on the water table. Whereas, this dense this D apples because they are heavier than this one. So, they move or they infiltrate further below the water table and uh, they form that is uh, dense plumes uh, within the aquifer below the water table. And then this, uh, so this inorganics or others. So, they consist of metals, salts etcetera. So, these are the some of the this one and if the uh, the sources of pollution. So, they are not uh, restricted to a point. So, then they are known as diffused or uh, distributed sources of pollutions and in this case. So, the pollution source may be extended over a line or it may be distributed over an area either in a plane or in a three dimensional uh, source. Okay. So, in that case all of them are included as non point sources of uh, ground water pollution. So, this is uh, the classification based on the geometry whereas, the classification based on the sources is uh, uh, this, uh, it is a fourfold classification starting with the municipal sources of ground water pollution followed by industrial sources, agricultural sources and then this uh, the miscellaneous other or other sources of pollution. Now, let us discuss the municipal sources of ground water pollution. In this, so we will be we will be covering that is the sewer leakage followed by liquid waste, followed by solid waste, so these are the three categories. And now, let us uh, discuss the municipal sources of uh, ground water pollution 
and here in the municipal sources of ground water pollution let us go to what happens when water is used for uh, domestic uses the effects of effects of uh, domestic water use obviously so all this uh, when water is used for domestic purpose so it can be for an inside use or it can also be for an outside use so within the inside use that means within the buildings or uh, any other facilities so here it can be so this is uh, this uh, chart is taken from hassan 1974 in which so there is a very good uh, categorization of the effect of domestic use so here the inside use so it will result in say waste water it may also result in say solid waste so the solid waste are also generated when it is used for outside use and here so in the outside use when the water is used outside so it may be it may go as a recharge into ground water basins or it may go into storm drains or uh, storm water drains then this waste water so it can be it can go into septic tanks or it can also go uh, this move through this sewers into say this uh, treatment plants the solid waste they will go to sanitary landfills and uh, the storm water drains it may either go to ocean outfall of course ocean is the last as one maybe before that it may be getting discharged into various uh, uh, streams or rivers or seas or estuaries or oceans and then this one so this recharge into ground water basin so part of it may enter this recharge it may enter this uh, recharge into the ground water basin and here so th from this treatment plant so it may go to surface water streams and from this surface water streams so it may go to this uh, ocean outfalls or part of it may recharge into the ground water basin and then 
So, part of this treatment plant the water which is the waste water which goes to the treatment plant may go to that is uh, reuse of water part of it may be reused after uh, thorough treatment or part of it may result in the formation of sludges. And again so this uh, from the septic tank also, so part of it may go to sludges and then so this part of it may go to recharge into ground water basins. And these sludges may either go to sanitary landfills or they may go to sludge lagoons or they may go to ocean outfalls. So, this is the, the total flow chart of the effects of uh, water when it is used for say domestic purpose. So, whether it is used within a building or in the for whether it is used for an indoor purpose or an outdoor purpose. So, this is it may create the waste water solid waste or when it is used for outdoor purpose it may cause solid waste recharge into ground water basin or uh, storm water drains like that. And here, so this, uh, so in this indoor use of course, uh, so here you can say this is approximately 50 percent and then this outdoor use which is say for uh, uh, lawn watering or uh, pesticides or uh, car wash or maybe swimming pool. So, that is also been approximately estimated as a 50 percent of the, to the total domestic water use. So, so, this is uh, how the when water is used for domestic purpose. So, this is how these are the various uh, locations where it may move. So, now let us consider the the sewer leakage which is uh, so this sewer leakage it is one of the uh, main causes of uh, municipal pollution of uh, groundwater pollution due to municipal uses so, here the sewer leakage may be due to that is uh, let us say the causes of sewer leakage are uh, poor workmanship or it may be defective sewer pipe or it may be due to damage by 
tree roots or plant roots or it may be damaged by say earthquake or damage or rupture by heavy loads or uh, soil slippage it may also be so that is uh, loss of foundation support In that case, the sewer may show a damage, it may show a crack or a breakage or a, or it may also be due to shearing caused by differential settlement in manholes say near manholes or it may be due to infiltration of sewage into into abandoned sewers. Sewer uh, laterals. So, these are the various causes. So, like the first one is a poor workmanship, the second one is the defective sewer pipe, the third one is the damage caused by plant roots, the fourth one is damage caused by earthquake, the fifth one is the damage by caused by heavy loads or soil slippage, the sixth one is the loss of foundation supports, the seventh one is the shearing caused by differential settlement near in or near manholes and then this infiltration of uh, sewage into abandoned sewer laterals etcetera. So, these are some of the causes of uh, sewer leakage. Now, let us consider the second main type of uh, the municipal the groundwater pollution due to municipal causes that is the liquid waste. And do you all know that this uh, waste water is having a significant amount of uh, uh, liquid content and this what happens is so this uh, waste water which is generated by this uh, municipal use of uh, water and it results in a significant amount of uh, that is uh, pollution of ground water and these liquid waste move uh, as per the ground water flow directions. So, these are the, so this is the, so this is the waste water or we can say the domestic waste water that is the municipal waste water flow
as per the gradient or the ground water flow gradient. So, this leads to this is uh, the second uh, category of uh, the municipal pollution of uh, ground water and then the the last this one is the the last cause of uh, the ground water pollution due to municipal sources occurs due to say solid waste. So, here the solid waste are in uh, solid form and then so they are uh, basically dumped into the landfill. So, this uh, solid waste dumped in landfills cause the leachate into ground water. And especially when there is a so the especially when there is a rainfall or a shallow water table the pollution of ground water by municipal sources due to solid waste is the maximum. So, as long as the uh, it is the there is no rainfall or the water table is at an appropriate uh, depth. So, then so there is uh, there will not be much of a pollution or uh, from the solid waste, but as and when there is uh, uh, some amount of rainfall or precipitation or uh, this uh, where the wherever there is a very shallow ground water table. So, this leachate from the landfills, so it starts flowing and uh, it causes the ground water pollution. So, these are so the sewer leakage, the liquid waste as well as solid waste. So, they constitute uh, most of the ground water pollution due to municipal causes. Now, let us come to the ground water pollution by industrial causes. So, here from the same source 
by Hassan et al. Let us uh, discuss the effects of water for uh, industrial use. So here in this uh, this industrial use again the sources for this also the source is the same publication by Hassan in 1974. So, in which there is a very good uh, this uh, flow chart is given of the effects of water from industrial use. So, when the water is used for industrial purposes, it may result in mainly three effects. The first one is the sanitation use for cleaning purpose and the second one is the manufacturing and processing use and then thirdly it is uh, water is used in the industry for cooling purpose or cooling uses. So, here and all this, all the three uses result in this, what are known as the industrial waste. Whether the water is used for either the sanitation or the cleaning purpose or manufacturing or processing purpose or for cooling purpose, it all results in the industrial uh, waste. Then, so these industrial waste, they may be, they may result either non reclaimable waste water. whose reclamation is uh, almost impossible or uh, economically not feasible or it may result in the industrial waste, they may also result in say solid waste such as the fly ash or uh, other uh, kinds of this uh, solid waste. Or part of it may be reclaimable which can be reclaimed after treatment. So, that is, uh, so this reclaimable waste water. And here, so this part of the water uh, which is used for cooling purpose, it also evaporates. So, now this non reclaimable waste water again it has three uh, routes, it may either go to ocean outfalls, it may go to a sanitary landfill. or it may go to 
that is uh, deep aquifer injection. So, this uh, solid waste, so this also may go to ocean outfall or it may go to a sanitary landfill or it may go to a sludge lagoon and this uh, this reclaimable wastewater so this is uh, it may follow any of the three paths the first one is the recycled water again for industrial use then uh, it may go to say municipal treatment plant or it may go to disposal in streams or rivers and then this uh, municipal treatment plants so from this municipal treatment plants it may go to sludge lagoon or it may go to say reusable water or it may be recharge into ground water basins or lastly it may go to surface water streams. So, these are the various uh, types of movement or the one of the industrial uh, or the ground water pollution caused by the industrial uses. And again here, so this ground water pollution caused by industrial uses, so they have been mainly categorized as a liquid waste or uh, tank and pipeline leakages or the wastes from mining activities
And here, so coming to the liquid base, so these are basically the uh, the liquid form of the industrial wastewater. So it flows along with the groundwater flow gradient, and then it will uh, cause eventually it might cause uh, groundwater pollution. Coming to this tank and pipeline leakages, so here, so this is uh, this happens due to leakages from tanks and pipelines. So, in this case an immiscible liquid in immiscible liquid such as oil moves till it reaches water table. And uh, coming to the waste from mining activities, so there are uh, multiple waste types of waste are uh, generated from the mining activities. So, there is uh, one last category is there that is the oil field brines. So, that is the heavy heavily saline uh, solutions which are released from the oil fields. So, these are the four categories which result in the ground water pollution due to industrial causes. And here, so the when you talk of this uh, an immiscible liquid such as an oil. So, here what happens is, so if the liquid is uh, immiscible, then it forms a layer. So, here say suppose this is the the ground surface and then this is the spill area and the plume. So, this is the spill area and then so here so this is the water table this is the residual saturation. And uh, over this, so this liquid waste spreads on top of the water table, and then so here, if this is the the direction of the water movement. So, this is the below the ground uh, water table, then so this one the oil also moves along with the slowly along with the ground water uh, at the top of the water table and then causes uh, ground water pollution. And, uh, also, suppose if such a case exists of uh, such a case of groundwater pollution due to industrial use exists, then we can remove this uh, liquid pollutant 
from this uh, from a pumping well. So, suppose within this ground water we drill a pumping well and this is the water table and the oil which is spilled here which has spread on the the ground water and here we can show this is the from the spill area. So, this is the residual saturation, then this is the oil and then so using so and then this is the pumping well. So, this is possible only when this oil is say uh, immiscible. So, when the oil is immiscible, so obviously it will spread on the top of the water table and then it can be pumped out. So, this is uh, one way and then coming to this uh, oil field uh, brines. So, in this case because brine is a very saline solution of uh, waste water uh, saline solution of uh, water. So, here what happens is it spreads and then so this uh, it will increase the salinity and uh, so therefore, it needs to be tackled uh, in a different way. So, this pumping kind of treatment, so may not be uh, suitable for that. So, in the uh, next lecture, we will discuss about the groundwater pollution by agricultural sources as well as the miscellaneous sources. Thank you.